Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. We had a huge update drop today on Tuesday, January 15th, 2019. A bunch of new cars have been added into this game, and along with the update, though, there are a bunch of different patch notes that we're going to be going over. So we're going to start with the new cars. We're going to take a look at all of them. We have some new car pass cars, and then we also have a new DLC car pack that is free for everyone. By now, can anybody guess what it is? It is Mitsubishi, baby! The Mitsubishi car pack is now in Forza Horizon 4. We have seven brand new Mitsubishis. And guess what? They are free for everybody, I promise you. Look, right here you're going to be able to see it free. Now, you do not need to have the car pass. And you do not need to have a special edition of Forza Horizon 4. You just literally need to go into the DLC shop and get this car pack for free. So that is fantastic news. We got the Lancer Evo 10, Evo 9, Evo 8, Evo 6, GTO, the 95 Eclipse, and also the 92 Gallant. So a bunch of nice Mitsubishis. I'm pretty sure all seven of these were in Forza Horizon 3, so it was a little bit weird not having them here in Forza Horizon 4, but they are back and that is fantastic news. What we're going to be doing is we're going to drive all seven of these cars during the rest of this gameplay in the video, and we're going to be talking about the patch notes as we do so. Now the other thing that I do want to show you though is there's also those new cars in the car pass. So basically they released another month's worth of DLC cars. We get two each week, that's how it works here in Forza Horizon 4, so two days from now on January 17th, 2019, this is probably my favorite car pack or weekly little mini car pack out of these four new ones. We get the 2019, a brand new Porsche 911 Carrera S. That one looks pretty sick, cannot wait to drive it. And then also the 1993 Porsche 968 Turbo S. By far, these two are my favorite out of these new four. Now the 05 Honda NSX RGT, we have a very similar car in the game already. And then also the 1929 Mercedes-Benz Little Roadster. So this car, it's kind of like, do you like these kind of cars or not? Me personally, I could easily do without it, but it is an epic, so maybe it'll have a good car mastery tree. Now, this car pack, we'll be getting it on the 31st of January, so the final day of this month. The 1966 Hillman IMP and the 1963 Opal Cadet A. So that one's actually pretty funny for me because... My co-workers and I have this little inside joke about we just call each other cadets and this car, just because of that alone, has a little special spot for me. And because Opal, my other friend from Forza Horizon 3, we always made fun of the Opals, so these are, they're pretty cool little cars. I mean, they're certainly going to have to be upgraded, but it is what it is. Now, the first car pack we're going to be getting in February of 2019 on the 7th is going to be the 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback as well as the 65 Ford Transit. So a nice little Ford car pack. I was watching the Forza Horizon 4 stream that talked about this update that came out today. I'm pretty sure they said this Transit as well as these two cars are more of, maybe it was just the Transit. It might've been these two as well, but they were saying they're cars that if you're from Britain and you know the history of the cars in Britain, you're really gonna appreciate them. Obviously might everybody might not, but I think they're pretty cool overall. I'm content with the cars that have been added for the car pass. These two especially, this one's pretty cool, and the Fastback. I mean, these other ones, I could live without them, but they're not just completely worthless like certain cars that we've gotten in the past. So, that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of these eight new DLC car pass cars that we're going to be getting here in the rest of January 2019 over into February 2019. Now, I also want you guys to let me know what you think of the Mitsubishis that we have here now in Forza Horizon 4. So once again, want to make it very clear, this car pack is free for everybody. And you don't have to buy anything, you don't have to have the car pass, you don't need to have a special edition of Forza Horizon 4. Everybody gets these. You just have to go into the DLC shop and download them. But now we're going to go drive these new Mitsubishis, and we're going to talk about the patch notes as we do so. First thing I do just want to point out, just so everyone's fully aware, you may have to manually update Forza Horizon 4, just like I did right here. 
Until you do this, you will not have Mitsubishi in the game, you will not have any of these updates we're about to talk about. And on my Xbox One S, the download was 3.33 gigabytes, as you can see right here. Now, we're going to start talking about the direct patch notes. The first thing, the biggest thing, is they added free-for-all adventure. So, online adventure, basically, it's been really frustrating and annoying. I never play it because of this. Every time I played, I would just get bumped out of checkpoints, and it's just, it's not fun. That's what it comes down to. Now, I do want to talk about this a little bit, because they added in free-for-all, which is basically where we're going to have to compete individually, ranked and unranked. So we're not going to have teams anymore, but everything is still going to be the same other than we're playing alone. So the way this is good, the good thing about this is if you win, you don't have to worry about your teammates messing up your positioning and just ruining your first place finish pretty much. The bad thing about it is you can still easily get bumped out of checkpoints and get frustrated and annoyed and that's the one thing that I'm worried about still with free-for-all adventure. I think it is an improvement. Now in future updates they did mention though they're going to figure out a way to fix wall riding and ghosting and different things to hopefully make it run even smoother. Now that's the biggest thing. The other things we're going to just kind of quickly go through here, talk a little bit about the things that stand out to me. They added racing series, creator, and title filters to event blueprint searching. So this is a good thing if you're looking for a particular blueprint, it'll be easier to find. Next thing, added the ability to view all eligible cars for trial or seasonal championships. This is definitely nice before you had to go into the race and kind of pick your car there. Now you're going to know beforehand how or which cars you're going to be able to use for the seasonal championships. Resolved an issue where drive avatar names could be duplicated in events. I actually just posted this today in my community tab. Still was able to win even though the same drive avatar was three different people apparently. Fixed an issue with a certain tune on the Forza Edition Cataram causing graphical issues. Never had that issue at all. Fixed a bug where changing units to metric caused issues with the route length indicator during route creation. Another thing that I have not seen. Fixed an issue where turning off rewinds in your difficulty menu prevented other users from being able to re rewind during route creation. Nothing that I ever saw either. Fixed an issue where disabling car lights would not also disable the reverse lights. So far most of these things are nothing I've ever really experienced. Fixed an issue where flipped or snapped elements on an imported livery would unflip. I'm not a painter. Fixed visual issues caused by the outfits, whatever, that doesn't matter. Prevented damage being applied to player car when restarting the British racing scene chapter 10. Improved visibility of street race event finish lines. That might be a good thing. I think all the checkpoints might need to kind of have something like that because they can be annoying sometimes. Fixed an issue where downloading your own design in the creative hub or the curated designs menu would not allow you to edit it. That's definitely a good fix for anyone that has painting issues because I, I just personally don't paint. But fixed an issue where leaving and rejoining a convoy during a Forzathon live event would allow users to collide with each other when they shouldn't. If you guys have watched my live streams, you know that this is one of the biggest issues I had with this game. And that's honestly why I haven't really been playing Forzathon live. It's really nice to see that that is fixed. Fixed an issue where passing through a danger sign twice in quick succession would cause all other PR stunts to stop working. That sounds really bad. Glad I never experienced that. Fixed an issue where drive avatars could win a co-op seasonal championship despite scoring fewer points. I'm sure that frustrated people. Fixed an issue where the speed trap near the train bridge could be exploited. Okay. I have seen things about that, but not a big deal. Fixed an issue where invalid performance ranges could be displayed on event flyers. Fixed an issue where player prestige level would not be shown in the pre-race leaderboards in online adventure. I'm sure that's annoying for people who have been playing this game a lot. Improvements to stutters. This, so far after just driving these Mitsubishis around, I have not really seen too much of an improvement. I have seen really bad stutters and stuff. Various stability improvements. Who knows what that could be. Now this is the one I'm actually extremely unhappy about. 
The Carlton and Floss Avatar emotes are no longer available? Are you kidding me? Playground games, what are you thinking taking this out of the game? Guys, you know I don't care at all about Avatar emotes. Come on. So that is pretty much it, though. That pretty much wraps it up. There was no specific PC or Xbox fixes. There were a bunch of different wheel fixes, which I never use a wheel, so that does not affect me. But for anyone that does use a wheel, hopefully that fixed things that you have made. Maybe you experienced some issues, whatever. Have those pop up right here just so you can see the different things. But that is pretty much it. Those are the most important things for me, the online adventure. I will try it now that you can do it solo. And also, Forzathon Live, we gotta start doing that again now that we can actually not collide into each other and actually have fun with that. So that was a huge thing for me. Overall, this is a pretty good update. This is a very good update. The only other things that I did want to mention were some other little things that are gonna be new coming into Forza Horizon 4. One of them is a new Horizon story. So this should be in the game now. Isha's Taxis. So basically it's a new Horizon business. You're going to be able to win the Austin FX4 Taxi though. This was a pretty rare car in this game. It wasn't one that's easy to get so now everybody is going to be able to get it. You might want to go try and quick sell yours before too many people find out about it. That's definitely something good. And we already know about Mitsubishi. We talked about the free-for-all online adventure. Just wanted to kind of go over these things again these are the biggest things make sure everyone watched everything didn't skip any parts of this video and then ask me questions about a particular thing but that is pretty much it obviously once the new season comes in we're going to have new seasonal events new exclusive cars that we're going to be able to get i'm sure from the forzathon shop and the seasonal events and we talked about the new mitsubishis which we're driving right now and the new car pass cars that pretty much wraps it up this is what they're calling technically update five for Forza Horizon 4 here in January 2019. January 15th, 2019 is when this released. Any point from now on, you will be able to update this. Just keep in mind, like I showed you earlier, you might have to do it manually. But those are all seven of the Mitsubishis here in Forza Horizon 4. I do plan on doing some type of live stream at some point this week here to either drive the Mitsubishi, show some of the new features, and different things like that. So. Make sure you subscribe, drop a like if you found this video to be helpful or useful in any way, and obviously drop a dislike if you didn't find this video to be helpful, or if you just hate my voice, or you just hate me for whatever particular reason, you know, hey, you do you. But please rate the video, really appreciate feedback, comment on the video if you have any questions at all about any of the stuff we talked about here today. But I'm out of here guys, have a wonderful day, peace out Horizon community.